Welcome to Gospel Truth with Andrew Womack, a teaching ministry that focuses on God's unconditional love and grace. Jesus showed us the will of the Father, and He never made anybody sick. He went around healing all that were oppressed of the devil, and God wants you well today. By Jesus' stripes, you were healed. And when I read that, it was just like it got downloaded to me, and I jumped up and I took my first step instantly. Every symptom that I had instantly left. And now, here's Andrew. Welcome to our Tuesday's broadcast of the Gospel Truth. Yesterday, I started a series talking about God wants you well. And yesterday, I was just giving an introduction And basically, to summarize it, I'm saying that a lot of Christians, I would say the vast majority of Christians believe God can do anything He wants to, but they don't really believe that it's God's will for them to be well, or if they do believe that God wants them well, they don't know how to receive it. It's just a desperation thing. So the vast majority of Christians are totally dependent upon doctors, medicine, health-type things, uh, natural stuff. And again, there's a place for all of those things. I'm not saying that I'm against those. If it wasn't for doctors, all the Christians would be dead because they hadn't been believing God. So I'm not against those things, but I am saying we are reaching a place to where there are things happening that the doctors can't handle. And fear has gripped people over this last couple of years with this pandemic and putting in front of them things on on death and how many people are dying. You know, the uh, CDC just admitted this last week, at the time I'm making these programs, it was just last week, that they admitted that three-fourths, 75% of all of the deaths that have been attributed to this COVID thing are people that had at least four comorbidities, I think is the way they say that. In other words, they had an existing problem. And so what they're saying is that really the the people that have died directly from COVID are approximately one-fourth of what they've been saying. And I know uh, there's there's uh, a couple of people that a friend of mine, uh, these, these guys went to a place and they signed up to get tested and uh, they waited two hours and they ran out of time. And so they left without having been tested, but they had already filled out the paperwork. And the next week, they got a letter saying that they both tested positive for COVID and they didn't even take the test. There are examples of people dying in automobile accidents and then they find out that they had COVID and they say they died from COVID. So my point is, it has been really overstated. There are people operating in fear and we're at a place that Christians need to believe and learn how to receive healing from God. And so that's what I'm beginning to teach on. And I've got so much material on this. You know, I've got this little right thing right here. This is a USB, and this has uh, 12 of my albums that are on this one thing right here. This normally goes for uh, $286 if you were to get all of these albums separately, but we're doing it for $85. And it's got how to receive God's best. God wants you well. You've already got it. How to receive a miracle, how to flow in the gifts, a better way to pray, healing scriptures, on and on it goes. Anyway, I've got all of this. Then I've got this product right here that is a healing university. There are over 60 hours worth of teaching, not only by me, but by a lot of our instructors that are in the Karis Bible College. There's all of these healing journeys that we have. We have eight volumes now of healing journeys of people that were raised from the dead, multiple sclerosis, healed, all kinds of things. And we've got so much material on healing that honestly, um, I don't even know how to make it all available. But we are giving away this one little pamphlet right here that is just kind of a summary of some of the things that we say. This is our free gift to you. We've got a book, CDs, and things like that. And then we've got these healing journeys. You know what I'd like to do today is to play the healing journey of Julianne Hartman. And Butch and Julianne Hartman, they're in Hollywood. He is an award-winning, I'm not sure what the proper term for it is, but they have the new network. He's one that produced the Fairly Odd Parents and uh, different cartoons and things like this. And they have become great friends. I was just with them last week 
And Julie Ann was in a desperate situation where she had spent over $300,000, and she was not getting better. She was getting worse. Her life was miserable. Uh, I mean, it was a strain on their marriage. It was a strain on their kids. And healing just literally turned their life around. And now, uh, Butch and Julianne have what they call Healing Journeys Today, and they have a daily uh, teaching by uh, some, some social network by the Internet somehow or another, and they have on a lot of the people that have been on these healing journeys, and they just teach on healing, and they are seeing miraculous things happen. It's awesome. I believe this will encourage you, and what God did for Julianne Hartman HE WILL DO FOR YOU, BUT IT'S A PROCESS. IT DOESN'T COME BY YOU JUST HAVING THE NEED. IF NEED IS WHAT DICTATED PEOPLE GETTING HEALED, THEN THE PEOPLE WHO ARE IN THE GREATEST NEED WOULD ALWAYS BE HEALED. BUT IT'S NOT SO. FAITH HAS TO BE INVOLVED, AND FAITH IS BASED ON KNOWLEDGE. Julianne STARTED LEARNING THINGS BY WATCHING THE HEALING JOURNEYS, LISTENING TO THE TEACHING, AND I PROMISE YOU, GOD IS NO RESPECTER OF PERSONS. WHAT GOD DID FOR Julianne. HE WILL DO FOR YOU. SO I ENCOURAGE YOU TO WATCH THIS. I'M GOING TO COME RIGHT BACK ON AT THE END OF OUR PROGRAM TODAY AND WIND THIS UP. AND ALL DURING THIS SERIES, WE'RE GOING TO BE TEACHING ON HOW GOD WANTS YOU WELL. FEAR PLAYED A BIG ROLE IN MY LIFE. IT WAS, IT WAS TORMENTING. MY FATHER WAS AN ALCOHOLIC. HE WAS A MEDICINAL DRUG ADDICT. WE NEVER KNEW how he was going to come home. It all culminated to one night. My mom had made a dinner for him, and he didn't like the dinner. He picked up the table, threw it against the wall, starts screaming and yelling, goes to my mom with a knife to her throat, and we're screaming, saying, please don't, please don't, don't do that to her, don't kill her. So he went into the back room for a minute. My mom said, girls, get your coats. We're going now. Julianne was both a fitness instructor and the wife of a Hollywood producer. But neither exercise nor a fast-paced L.A. lifestyle could keep her from the fear that took root in her life at childhood. This fear eventually took the form of fibromyalgia, an incurable disease that causes widespread muscle pain, fatigue, and mood swings. This is the healing journey of Julianne Hartman. There was so much pain in my body, and it came out of nowhere. I started with a lot of lower back pain, I started with pain in my legs, pain in my hands, and then it felt like I had the flu 24 7. We were church going people, we knew that Jesus Christ promised healing, we knew that. Uh, healing was ours, that kind of thing. But there was such an emergency atmosphere around it. The first thing was we have to go to the doctor. They said I had lupus. They said I had fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia just doesn't come on you. It comes from a lot of years of a lot of emotional abuse on yourself. I chose exercise to rid me of anxiety and fear. That's why I kept a job and classes and dancing and all this stuff and working out till two in the morning that I wouldn't have time to feel fear or anxiety or anything. So I just kept running faster and faster and faster. The older I got, the faster I would run. I was used to working out five, six hours a day, six days a week. When I started not feeling well, I couldn't do any of that. So it was really shortly after she stopped, I started noticing a huge change. The word despair is the word I would use. It was like a despair that came around her, and I don't know where that came from. In the mornings, he would leave me as my head would be in my hands, and I'd just be crying. And then he would come home, and he would find me in the same position. I thought I was losing my daughter, and um, it was just, it was hard. I was an actress, so I was good at acting. And when the girls would get home from school, I'd say, okay, what'd you do today? Like, tell me about your day. I don't think I heard any of it because I was in so much pain and I was feeling so sick. And then the fear always because I wasn't feeling good and I was like, God, I hope I can make it through this day kind of thing. My day planner was filled with doctor appointments. $300,000 on alternative doctors, holistic doctors. They just kept saying, we don't know what to do. Here, take this pill. Here, take this. 
This went on for three years. Meanwhile, I was going to every healing line that I could. I would say, God, why am I not getting healed? What is wrong? Why are you not healing me? Why? What I do? What do I need to do to get healed? I don't understand. The healing wasn't coming. The medicine, whatever she would take, wasn't working. She was crying every day. And she said, I think you should leave me. Had I not had Christ in my life, I probably would have left. But I know that perfect love casts out fear. He said, I made a commitment to you, and I will never leave you. Whatever we needed to do, wherever she needed to go, whatever we needed to pray, when you've done all to stand, we had to stand. Welcome to Gospel Truth with Andrew Womack, a teaching ministry that focuses on... And so I was home a lot, and I would leave the TV on, and it would constantly play every ministry possible. Well, this man came on, and he was really boring. And I don't know what the teaching was, but it was him saying that there was a man that had Parkinson's. And so Andrew says, so I say to him, just tell your hand to stop shaking. And he said, okay. So he said, hand, stop shaking. And it did. So I'm watching this going with my remote control ready to turn him off. What? But there was something about it though that was really like just caught me. I went online and I started looking at the website. Well, what is this guy about? Like, who is he? And that was it. I watched her as she watched every Andrew episode. She downloaded everything online she could get. Those healing journeys were amazing. I watched them over and over. I watched Nikki's probably 50 times. All the symptoms that she had of being sensitive to cleaning solutions, hair products, lotions, perfumes, I couldn't be around anything that had a smell. She was the same way. And to watch that girl sit in a bedroom at the end that was painted was like a miracle. Titled, God Wants You Well. We've already dealt with the fact that healing is a part of Christ's atonement, which means that it's not optional. When I listen to God Wants You Well, I'm like, wait a minute, and you've already got it? I'm like, wait. This isn't God holding out on me. This is me not receiving what God already did for me. There was a two week period where I was like, that's it. I am not moving out of this house. I'm canceling everything and I'm just gonna listen from the time my kids go to school to the time I've gotta go pick them up. And I would sit on my kitchen table from eight till 2.30 and just listen over and over and over. For two weeks I did that. I started walking through my hallways, and I'm telling you, if my dogs could talk what they witnessed, I walked through those hallways going, in the name of Jesus, stop being numb. Numbness, you are dead. You get out of my body now, in the name of Jesus. Get out of my body. Pain, back pain, get out of my body. Whatever it was, headache, you know, brain. You are a perfect brain. God gave me a perfect brain. You need to function the way you were made. I don't care what's been spoken over me, what anybody told me, what anybody said I had. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke all of that. And body, you come back to life now. And I just kept doing that over and over. And I'd walk through my house. Then I'd go back to all the scriptures that I wrote down where Andrew had walked me through. It's funny, when you live with something for so long and you're so used to seeing it, you don't really notice when it starts to change until you like realize like one day, hey, she's not complaining about her knees anymore. And then I'd say, hey, she's crying a lot less. Was that a smile on her face? There was a smile there. She would laugh. I hadn't heard her laugh in probably years. And I, when you hear your wife laugh after so long, that is just the most amazing thing. What I always say is like, it was a progressive healing. But the only reason why it was progressive is because I made it progressive. You know, if you can't trust your father, how are you gonna trust a God that you can't see? It was my dad, I just couldn't trust him. And I think that that's kind of where it all stemmed from. It wasn't just the healing on the outside. It was teaching me about who I was in Christ. And that was the missing link. It was a bit of a journey, but at the end of the journey, my daughter was back. Julianne's healing has inspired her family to discover all God has for them. Every day, they renew their minds to God's Word, accompanied by the teachings of Andrew Womack Ministries and Karis Bible College. 
I work out to Andrew, Butch works out to Andrew. We have them on our computers, we have them on our phones, we have them on our cars. I always knew in my heart that my kids would go to Karis Bible College. I know that establishing a firm foundation in Christ as a young adult, like that's just the best place to do it. I know the Creative Arts School is opening up soon, like the third year, and so taking like my passion in arts and creativity and putting that with my faith and then being able to go to a school where they tailor right to that is really exciting. The Hollywood industry is an industry that everybody wants you to fail, but when you don't fail, they wonder why isn't this person failing, why is he succeeding? Because of the prosperity I've had, I've been able to point them to Jesus Christ, and that's through Andrew. We started listening to the teaching of don't limit God times 10. And man, if that doesn't make you want to run down the street with your hands up in victory going, I'm doing it, I am not going to limit God anymore. Andrew said that God said to him, you're limiting me by your small thinking. And I thought, I'm going to apply this to my career. So we started the NOOG network, it's N-O-O-G network. And we call it a safe place for kids. What we want to do is the money that comes from the network is going right into the dorms, after the dorms, whatever else Andrew is. I am so on board with his vision. When you're a partner and you give into that, anyone who gets saved as a result of that ministry, that goes on your heavenly account. That's the exciting part. The Noog Network is just one of the many ways the Hartmans are advancing God's kingdom. Their nonprofit organization, Hartman House, builds homes and provides food, education, and spiritual growth to those fighting poverty all over the world. And to come out on the other side, was don't let your heart be troubled. Going back to this same principle I was just talking about. The Hartmans also hold weekly Bible studies in LA where they share Andrew's messages with their community. Through her experience, Julianne feels especially called to encourage women to apply Christ's atonement in every area of their lives. The world dictates to you that as a woman, when you get older and you go through menopause, Basically, you become this emotional, crazy person, and then you, your insides dry up and you die, basically. And it's really important for me to talk about this because I know that through the Word of God, through Andrew's teaching, I'm not talking just one teaching, I'm talking about all his teachings, he will show you who you are, even though he's a man, and he doesn't speak about menopause, he doesn't speak about the female issues, but it doesn't matter. He speaks the Word of God, which covers all of that. And that's important for women my age to know. We don't have to succumb to what the world says is supposed to happen to us as we get older. Started adding up all those bills. They were over $300,000. But Andrew's teaching was free. Isn't that powerful? I tell you, I, I love Butch and Julianne and their two girls, Carly and Sophia. They've come to our Bible college and gone through that. but. They are reaching out to people. Hopefully, my, my TV crew will be able to put on the screen uh, the information about how you could participate in their daily Healing Journeys Today uh, devotions and Bible studies that they do. And you'll get to hear many of the testimonies, and they are seeing thousands of people heal. It just transformed their life. I'm telling you that sickness is not something that God desires for you. There are so many people that believe that God loved us enough He died to forgive our sins so that when we die, we will go to heaven instead of going to hell. But then they don't believe that He loves us enough to take sickness away from the midst of us. And yet you look at the ministry of Jesus, and Jesus healed every person who would let Him heal them. Now, there are a couple of instances, like in the sixth chapter of the book of Mark, where He wanted to heal people in His hometown, but they wouldn't believe. It was their unbelief that stopped it. So Jesus didn't heal every single person, but He healed every single person who would receive, every person who would allow it, and He wants you well. God wants you well. The Lord loves you so much. You know, I had a man one time who was on his deathbed, and I went over to see him. This man couldn't even lift his hand. He was, he was nearly dead. They actually sent him home to die. And I was trying to tell him that God wanted him well, and he just said, you know, I don't know that God wants to heal me. I don't know that, uh, you know, that's part of what Jesus died to produce. 
AND SO BECAUSE OF THAT, HE JUST WASN'T RECEPTIVE. AND, and WHAT I DID, HIS WIFE WAS KNEELING RIGHT BESIDE THE BED. AND I SAID, DO YOU THINK THAT YOUR WIFE, IF SHE HAD THE POWER TO HEAL YOU, WOULD JUST SIT THERE AND WATCH YOU SUFFER AND DIE LIKE THIS? AND HE NEARLY GOT MAD AT ME. LIKE, NO WAY. SHE WOULD DO ANYTHING. IF SHE COULD, SHE'D TAKE MY PLACE. AND I SAID, AND YOU THINK THAT GOD LOVES YOU LESS THAN YOUR WIFE? SEE, YOU CAN SIT THERE AND SPLIT HAIRS, AND YOU CAN HAVE YOUR TRADITION AND DOCTRINES OF MEN MAKE THE WORD OF GOD OF NONE EFFECT, MARK CHAPTER 7, VERSE 13. BUT WHEN YOU COME RIGHT DOWN TO IT, GOD IS LOVE. AND IF PEOPLE, IF YOUR MATE WOULD HEAL YOU IF THEY COULD, WHAT MAKES YOU THINK THAT GOD ALMIGHTY, WHO COULD HEAL YOU IN A HEARTBEAT, WOULDN'T HEAL YOU? SEE, THAT'S WRONG, AND THAT HINDERS THE HEALING POWER OF GOD. GOD WANTS YOU WELL, BUT THERE ARE LAWS THAT GOVERN HOW THE HEALING POWER OF GOD OPERATES. AND THIS IS WHAT I'M GOING TO START TEACHING ON, AND I PROMISE YOU, IF YOU CAN RECEIVE THIS, IT WILL TRANSFORM THE WAY THAT YOU RECEIVE FROM GOD. THERE IS NO SHORTAGE OF POWER. IT'S NOT THAT SOME THINGS ARE JUST HARD EVEN FOR GOD. MAN, NOTHING IS IMPOSSIBLE WITH GOD. EVERYTHING IS AVAILABLE TO YOU, BUT YOU HAVE TO REACH OUT AND RECEIVE IT. IT SAYS IN MATTHEW CHAPTER 11, I BELIEVE IT'S VERSE 11 OR 12, THAT SINCE THE TIME OF JOHN THE BAPTIST, THE KINGDOM OF HEAVEN IS PREACHED AND THE KINGDOM OF HEAVEN SUFFERS VIOLENCE AND THE VIOLENT TAKE IT BY FORCE. YOU GOT TO GET THIS ATTITUDE THAT, LOOK, HEALING ISN'T JUST POSSIBLE AND OUT THERE AND SO YOU PRAY A PRAYER AND THROW IT UP AND IF IT HAPPENS, WE'LL FIND. But not, NO, YOU GOT TO GET THIS ATTITUDE THAT IT'S MINE. THIS BELONGS TO ME. I'VE GOT IT. YOU TAKE THE AUTHORITY AND YOU REACH OUT AND TAKE THAT HEALING POWER OF GOD. YOU'VE GOT TO GET THAT ATTITUDE. AND I'VE GOT SCRIPTURES TO SHARE WITH YOU THAT I PROMISE YOU, IF YOU WILL RECEIVE IT, IT WILL HELP INSTILL THIS ATTITUDE OF FAITH ON THE INSIDE OF YOU, AND GOD WANTS YOU WELL. I WANT YOU WELL. THIS IS WHY WE'RE TEACHING ON THIS. I'M NOT OFFERING ANY OF THESE PRODUCTS BECAUSE OF OUR NEED for TO SELL MATERIALS. I'M TRYING TO GET THE TRUTH TO YOU BECAUSE GOD LOVES YOU, I LOVE YOU, GOD WANTS YOU WELL. AND IF YOU WILL JUST COOPERATE, YOU CAN BE HEALED OF ANYTHING. YOU KNOW, I'VE GOT A LOT OF PRODUCT. WE'RE GOING TO BE, OUR ANNOUNCER'S GOING TO BE SHARING THAT WITH YOU IN JUST A MINUTE. BUT WE'VE GOT PEOPLE STANDING BY AT OUR PHONES RIGHT NOW. AND WE'VE GOT THAT NUMBER ON THE SCREEN. AND YOU CAN CALL, AND THERE'S SOMEBODY THERE WHO HAS EXPERIENCED THIS SUPERNATURAL POWER OF GOD, AND THEY KNOW HOW TO PRAY. WE'VE SEEN PEOPLE RAISED FROM THE DEAD THROUGH US PRAYING OVER THE PHONES WITH PEOPLE. IF YOU ARE IN NEED TODAY, PLEASE CALL THAT NUMBER THAT YOU SEE. WE'VE GOT PEOPLE THAT WILL PRAY WITH YOU, AND THEY'LL ALSO SHARE WITH YOU ABOUT ALL OF THE PRODUCT THAT WE HAVE, AND I PROMISE YOU THE BIBLE SAYS THAT GOD SENT HIS WORD AND HEALED THEM AND DELIVERED THEM FROM ALL THEIR DESTRUCTION. THESE PRODUCTS JUST CHUCK FULL OF THE WORD OF GOD, AND IF YOU'LL RECEIVE IT, IT'LL PRODUCE PHYSICAL HEALING IN YOUR BODY. AND JOIN ME AGAIN TOMORROW FOR OUR GOSPEL TRUTH BROADCAST. On today's broadcast, Andrew shared the healing journey of Julianne Hartman. Julianne's story, along with several other compelling healing journeys, are available on the Healing Journeys Volume 5 DVD. This valuable resource is available for a gift of any amount when you contact us. Discover that healing is part of God's provision for you when you get Andrew's teaching titled, God Wants You Well. As a special offer, Andrew is giving away the God Wants You Well booklet as his gift to you absolutely free. This offer is limited to one free booklet per household and is available in the US, UK, Canada, and Australia. Contact us today to receive your free booklet. God Wants You Well is available in a book, companion study guide, and as a newly updated CD or DVD version of this classic teaching. Also, Andrew is offering his Healing USB. This valuable USB contains 38 hours of Andrew's teachings related to the subject of healing, including living in God's best, you've already got it, spirit, soul, and body, plus many more. Each of these resources are available for a gift of any amount when you contact us. This entire series is also available for audio download, absolutely free from our website. 
Be empowered to receive healing and minister healing to others when you get Healing University. This resource delivers the power of the gospel in 48 lessons, six question and answer sessions, and practical stories and video testimonies in each lesson. This box set includes three workbooks, an audio USB, and a personal access code to the online videos and printable PDFs. Receive your Healing University today for $499. We want to say a special thank you to the Grace Partners of Andrew Womack Ministries. Your gifts make it possible to put free ministry materials into the hands of many people in need. If you're not already a Grace Partner, we ask you to pray about becoming one today. You can become a Grace Partner through our website at awmi.net. You can also order resources or receive prayer by calling our helpline at 719-635-1111. Now that we've got our garage paid off, I'm going full steam ahead on building student housing. We're breaking ground in the spring and we are believing that by the fall of 2023, we are gonna have student housing. It just depends on how the response goes as to how quickly we can build it. And so I'd like to encourage you to pray about becoming a foundation builder with us. That's what we call this partnership for building out our Karis Bible College. Check it out at awmi.net. Welcome to the AWM Minute, a small glimpse of how the friends and partners of Andrew Womack Ministries and Karis Bible College are helping students discover their destiny. Students like zoologists Ed and Brenda Laquadera, who after attending Karis Bible College, followed the call to go into full-time ministry in an unconventional way. I was in my zoo one day and I'm going, God, where do I get a church? How do I do this? And I just saw this vision of where we do our animal show. We do three daily shows at our little zoo. And God just showed me preaching there. And he said, use what's in your hand. Today, Ed and Brenda are taking the truths they learned at Karis Bible College and preaching the gospel in their own unique way at their zoo church. To see the Laquadera's full destiny story, visit awmi.net today. Whatever his dream for you is, everything that it takes to accomplish that is already provided. It's already been given in the spirit realm. True courage is the ability to do what's necessary and do what's right, even when we have fear. What is a dead end to us is nothing but an opportunity for God to show forth who He is. I've got some great news to share with you, and that is that we have now expanded our phone center hours to 24-7. Anytime you want to call us, we're going to be open to receive your calls. We've been expanding gradually, and this is a goal that I've been shooting at, and I'm excited because, you know, sometimes problems, needs don't just wait. We can now serve you 24-7 on our Andrew Womack Ministries helpline.